coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed. Amazon's drone program stumbles. Lilium Jet compliance proposal submitted. And Lockheed Martin's stalker completes record flight. I'm Holland Lee. Welcome to Airborne Uncrewed, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. Amazon drone program stumbles. Recent journalistic digging has brought up some interesting industry gossip regarding the internal workings of Amazon's drone delivery program. The idea of automated floor-to-door aerial delivery of packages is one being approached from multiple angles throughout the UAV market. And of all those racing to get their program up and running, Amazon has often been seen as one of the strongest bets to make. Their infrastructure, considerable logistics expertise, and bottomless treasuries should theoretically create a sterling drone delivery system. But after a decade of work and more than $2 billion spent, Amazon still seems further away from launch than ever. The investigation purports to have uncovered internal messaging, government reports, and interviews with a dozen employees to reveal a program mired in technical challenges, continuous turnover, and executive impatience that has taken its toll on company targets time and again. A crash that resulted in a 25-acre brush fire last June drew attention to the experimental flight program. The investigation illustrated a goal of 2,500 test flights in 2021, one that evidently failed to the chagrin of Amazon execs. For 2022, Bloomberg says the program seeks 12,000 test flights and, as of February, only completed about 1.6% of the total. After the break, Airbus moves biological wing demonstrator to wind tunnel. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a look at some shorter stories making the rounds of the Uncrewed Vehicle Communities. Airbus moves biological wing demonstrator to wind tunnel. Airbus announced a new phase in its recent extra performance wing system, moving into wind tunnel testing as they hone technology for use in industry decarbonization. The Extra Performance Wing project began last fall, taking inspiration from natural wing systems as seen in biology in order to improve wing aerodynamics, efficiency, and performance. Airbus hopes that further study will yield benefits that reduce CO2 emissions in future aircraft using their Albatross 1 testbed aircraft. FreeFly Systems Alta X now DIU approved. FreeFly Systems has received the honor of their Alta X UAS being added to the Defense Innovation Unit approved aircraft list. The DIU's placement of the drone onto its roster of approved equipment, the Blue SUAS 2.0 list, contains trusted small drones suited for use by Department of Defense entities. The FreeFly Alta X went through the Blue UAS on-ramp to prove that it is policy compliant and a viable option for those wanting a small commercial drone. National Museum of the Air Force Rocketry Team Advances to National Finals a rocketry team from the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force has advanced to the American Rocketry Challenge National Finals to be held near Washington, D.C. on Saturday, May 14th. Quote, we were very excited to learn over the weekend that Team Prometheus from the museum qualified in the top 100 out of more than 700 teams, end quote, said National Museum of the U.S. Air Force educator Cindy Henry. 
Hartzell Propeller receives executive transfusion. Hartzell Propeller is getting their ducks in a row for a big push as they begin courting the market for sustainable aircraft. They have announced the appointment of Mitch Heaton as Director of Business Development and New Technology, putting him in charge of propeller development for eVTOL, eStall, electric, hybrid, and hydrogen-powered aircraft. The impending boom in advanced air mobility is a good opportunity for the mark, requiring an all-new range of propellers and systems for the unique requirements of upcoming lightweight electric aircraft. Well, that was our Uncrewed Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Lilium Jet Compliance Proposal Submitted Lilium has submitted paperwork required for the jet certification to the EASA, which will pave the way for the next phase in the aircraft's regulatory compliance. Lilium has submitted a full set of the necessary means of compliance proposals to the European Union Aviation Safety Agency for the type certification of the Lilium jet. The proposal outlines the program needed to certify the aircraft on behalf of Lilium. The EASA will look over the plans and ensure that their completion would allow the manufacturer to adequately demonstrate compliance with regulations. Should the plan be approved, Lilium will be able to move ahead with the certification process without further delay. The Lilium jet will eventually be certified under both EASA and FAA regulations under the provisions of the Bilateral Aviation Safety Agreement. Recent developments in the program have seen a higher flight testing tempo after Lilium began operating out of the Atlas Flight Test Center in Via Correa, Spain. In early April, the jet was put through its paces in a few varying phases of flight to assess the full range of its flight envelope in transition and high-speed flight. After these messages, Lockheed Martin Stalker completes record flight. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Lockheed Martin Stalker completes record flight. Lockheed Martin has completed a successful 39-hour flight endurance test using its Stalker VXE UAS. The flight was taken in February in an attempt to obtain a world record for the type using a specially configured Stalker to remain in flight for 39 hours, 17 minutes, and 7 seconds. The record was submitted to the FAI under the Group 2 category, featuring aircraft from 5 to 25 kilos. The U.S. affiliate body, the NAA, will handle the submission. Lockheed said the aircraft used was a production Stalker VXE, modified with an external wing mounted fuel tank. The record attempt was meant to advertise the Stalker aircraft's impressive endurance, quote, broad operating envelope, modular payload compliance, vertical takeoff and landing capability, and open system architecture allow it to execute diverse and demanding missions while maintaining a small operational footprint and crew, end quote. Lockheed brought a few industry partners along for the ride, tapping into composite technology development for their assistance in building a new, lightweight external wing tank. Clovis Area Modelers provided official Federation-approved contest directors to continuously monitor and adjudicate the world record flight for ratification, in addition to the other entities already involved in the Stalker program. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!